All right, go for it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do film in front of an appropriate location. Since I'm doing a journalistic video, I'm filming in front of the journalism school. Always make sure that you have good lighting. In this case, we're in the shade. Does it look bad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't do that. Do always make sure to have a variety with your shots. This means going to different locations with different backgrounds so that your video isn't completely boring or in just one setting. If you're filming outdoors, make sure that there's not a lot of people around and that you're not in a place with a lot of echo. Do make sure that your audio is always as clear as possible. This means that if you're filming in an outdoor location, you want to make sure that no other people are around or talking to pick up noise in the microphone and also make sure that you're in a place with minimal echo. Do film lots and lots and lots of b-roll. Especially if you're filming outside, b-roll should be one of the easiest things to collect because it's just video stills of everything around you. Plus, adding b-roll to your videos can add a little bit more interest, flow, and transition. It can help break up the video. Don't have a cameraman that films the footage all shaky. Make sure they're always filming the subject and keeping you at the focus of the video. Ethan? Ethan? Do always make sure to stay true to yourself whenever you're doing a journalistic project. I think this is the best way to show your integrity as a journalist and still have a little bit of personality in anything that you create. That's why I always decide to include blooper reels in my videos.